Hey everyone, how's it going? Well, today is September... I forgot. 13, 14, 15, 16th? 15, 16th? Something around, 17th, I don't know. Uh, 13th was the day we had the snow. Uh, the snow was all gone. We ended up having... Uh, we had about just, just under two inches at home here. And down at the south farm, we had over three inches. So it's way worse down there because that all melted now, but that is a mud hole. Uh, as you see in my last video, I took the swather there, the 4990, and it's uh, pretty wet. So we need some drying, and I don't know, the rest, the, the rest, the rest of the weather is uh, pretty crappy right till October. Like it only gets up to 10 degrees. So you need at least 15 with sunny and some wind to dry things out. But hopefully that'll change maybe. But uh, I'm just up here on the hill at the pasture. Dropped off some hay bales for the cows. The pasture's getting pretty thin here. So, well, it wasn't good to begin with, but it needs to be redone. Anyway, I just uh, thought I'd show you guys and gals uh, the old machines there on this property. Uh, what we got here is a Super 92 Massey Combine. And it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Like, you know, uh, even these old tires, man, they're barely... Looks, this one looks like it's still holding half, half air. Not even cracked, these back ones. It's amazing, they don't make tires like that anymore. But I, I can't say if they're originals or anything, so... But, uh, yes, he's a Super 92. Massey Ferguson. We've got a gas tank here. He's dry. Ugh. We don't have the clean grain elevator open. It's gonna rust out. A little hydraulic reservoir under there. We're unloading an auger. Might need an auger extension to reach out to those uh, semis. Use this as a possible fourth combine spare. What do we got under here? Oh. One, two, three, four walkers. No, one, two, three, four, five, six walkers. Six little walkers. That's weird to get the sieve way up here. That's not a sieve, that's a shaker pan. Oh, yeah. That's different. That must be just to catch anything that falls out of the walkers and takes it back to the takes it back to the main shaker pan in the front. I see. That's a little different. I know what that is for. Hmm. belts are actually not in bad shape. Then we have, what is that? What does this do? So the hose onto this pulley. Why would there be a hose on the pulley? And what does this do? That's a new one to me. This is the air induction for the engine. There's the old exhaust pipe. She's got a little rust in her. Yeah, that's strange. I wonder what this does. I can't see what's inside there. There's a inspection hole in the top. I wonder if I can put my eyes in there. I can't. No, she's dark. Can't see. I don't know. That's weird. Maybe I can open this little hatch door. Nope, oh, she's pretty solid. Uh, we got a old air cleaner there. Okay, yeah, that's where the... It's not the air induction, it's for the radiator pre-cleaner. Now, here's a hole I can see in there. Oh, yeah, there's a hornet's nest in there. Okay. 
in there. Down there. I don't know what that's for. That's a weird setup, but I've never seen that before. This is actually my holy man, look at these. These chains are actually loose, but they're actually solid. A little bit of oil should be no problem. WD-40. Yeah, WD-40 will take care of all that. Oh, we got the little six cylinder. Is this, yeah, one, two, three, one. Yeah, six cylinder. I wonder what kind of engine is in here. Oh, we got the old. Oh, okay, I see. You got the old fan on there, but it doesn't do anything. It just uh, blows air on the engine, but the main radiator is over there, and they got it powered on some belts. You look at that belt, man. That looks brand new. Huh. Anyway, yeah. Want to shoot fire? No, I, somebody stole the spark plug wires. The distributor. Give her some ether. One single cylinder at the table. There's your tranny. Old style pickup. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's no fingers left. Got some pretty nice teeth on here. Snag these for the baler. Actually, I wouldn't. That's just a joke. Anyway, yeah, that's the Super 92 Combine. Go up on the cab here. I've been throwing my loose twine in here in the hopper. This is about... Man, 50 bushels. It needs hopper extensions with the what I call a pie plate on top. Drive very speed. What is that? Oh yeah, that's cool. Oh man, combining with no cabs. I'd be puffed up so bad, itchy. Anyway, that's a Super 92. Then there is one more here. It's a tractor. And it's actually pretty cool too. It's an old International. Step back for a sec. It's an old International that has uh, kind of been uh, parted out a bit. Uh, I believe this is a 506. If I'm correct. 560, sorry. 560 International. I've seen these on YouTube, they're pretty cool. I was, after I saw this tractor, I was looking them up on YouTube and watching them. They're pretty neat for an old International. Oh, the, look at that, just made out of paper. And that belt would just hug it on there. These are made out of wood, rotten. That'd need a little work before we could throw a belt on her. I actually have uh, one piece of equipment that could uh, that runs off the big long belt, and that's our old grain crusher. But we don't use it anymore. But we used to when we had the old John Deere AR, six-cylinder diesel. Look at these tires. Barely even cracked. Well, that one's actually that one's got a little air in it. Yeah. Got the dashboard here. That back up there. Low plug meter. I would assume this is a throttle. Almost like the old case had the throttle on the on the steering wheel, which you didn't have to use if you didn't want to. Ooh, she's a little stiff.
Got to change that to an LED. Well, somebody took the starter. There's no starter on it. Looks like that sediment bowl's got a little water in it. And other amenities. Yeah, who knows if these things would run, or if this thing would run. It probably was broke down and parked here for a reason, but cool old tractor. Yep, International 560. Anyway, I gotta go. We gotta load up another load of hay, old hay, it's last year's hay, and give it to the other cows there. With the amount of frost that we've had, and the whole next week is frost every night, and uh, killing frost, that pretty much uh, stops the grass from growing. So, sucks that we have this weather here way too early for this. This is October weather, not September weather. Late October weather. It's usually when we get our first snow is uh, uh, usually around Halloween. That's when you know the season's done. But uh, that's when I like it, right around Halloween. Anyway, I gotta go. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all later.